The Maine Work Boots Alliance, made up of farmers, water treatment officials, and business owners, are speaking out against a proposed bill they claim would create another toxic problem of its own. The loss of the landfill capacity that future generations will not no longer be able to utilize. An amendment to LD 1911 would outright ban the spreading of wastewater sludge as fertilizer on farmland. State environmental officials say the majority of sludge in Maine and from out of state is tainted with PFAS chemicals. That sludge would be shipped to landfills, which some wastewater districts and municipalities say could double disposal costs and threaten capacity. Those additional costs are going to be picked up by the users of the system. The amendment would also prohibit using sludge, also known as biosolids, in compost fertilizer and animal bedding. These products are also sold in home and garden centers. But farmers who are dealing with a high cost of fuel say this would force them to rely on more expensive fertilizers. This would take away an amendment that many farmers use in lieu of having to purchase commercially prepared fertilizers. The newly formed alliance is voicing their support for an amendment sponsored by Republican State Representative Beth O'Connor of Berwick that would set limits for two common PFAS chemicals in sludge. But the proposed limits are nearly 10 times higher than the current state screening standards for sludge. These sludge facilities. Earlier this year, officials from the Department of Environmental Protection testified before the legislature's Environment and Natural Resources Committee that there is enough capacity for the sludge at state landfills including the Juniper Ridge landfill operated by Casella Waste Systems. The company also operates a facility that makes compost. Adam Nordell is the owner of Songbird Farm in Unity. He had to pull products from store shelves following the discovery of high levels of PFAS in its well, more than 400 times higher than Maine's safe limit. His fields had been treated with sludge under the farm's previous owner. And we cannot be trucking sludge from other states to compost in Maine and sell to Maine gardeners and Maine farmers. That's not the state we are. Maine is not New England's toilet. State lawmakers are also looking at accessing federal dollars to offset costs for sewer districts and municipalities. In Augusta, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.